Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's Brood. Papa, it seems, is firmly established in the moving picture business as chief executive of the Excello Pictures Corporation in Hollywood. He is still a little dazed at finding himself the big boss and more than a little vague as to what his business consists of. Right now, we find him in his office uh, having a little trouble with the telephone. No. 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 No, I did not. Look, I am sitting here and suddenly the buzzer buzzes and three lights flash on my desk. So I'm picking up the phone at... What? What did you say? It wasn't my phone. Key? What key? The only keys I've got fit my door at home at... What? Push the key up? Which key? What key? That... Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I don't want to know. I'm crazy, so we'll forget about the whole thing, huh? Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Keys me. Well, well, Pa. I see you're here bright and early. I am not bright this morning, and it's too oily for you to smile like that. I don't like it. <laughs> What's the matter, Pa? Did you get out on the wrong side of bed this morning? Wrong side. Wrong side. Some morning I'm not even going to get up. I'm going to stay in bed for the rest of my life. Oh, now, all kidding aside, Pa. What's the matter, huh? Sidney. Sidney, I'm going to tell you something. Something that I shouldn't tell you if I was in my right mind. But because I am crazy, I'm going to tell you. Hey, pa. Yeah, Pa. I wish I was back in New York. Back in New York, sitting in my little office in the knee pants factory. With no lights that flash like the fancy marble games in the drugstores out here. Oh, yes, Sidney. I bought a business I don't know anything about. Out here, I don't even know how to answer the telephone. You gotta have keys. Oh, I get it. I see what's bothering you, Pa. Now, look, that's very easy to fix. Yeah, for you, everything's easy. All right, now, look here. You had this key down, all right? Mm. That buzzes the phone here in your office. Now, if you push it up like this, the light goes out. And the secretary takes your calls and switches other calls to where they belong. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't go so fast. Please. You mean that if I am being called on the telephone by somebody, that I have to wait until the lights go on and off? Well, something like that, yeah. Take it out. Take what out, Pa? The lights, the telephone, anything. Take me oh, out. Now, now, wait, Pa, wait. Don't get excited over a little thing like this. Don't get excited. Look, you've got to have a secretary to answer the phone or you'd be pestered all day long. People could get to you. Oh, I'd be pestered, huh? People could get to me, huh? Listen to me, Sidney. When I was in the knee pants business, I wanted people to get to me. They were customers. And if a customer calls me now, I gotta wait for six other people to talk to him before I can get at him. Look, Pa, you don't get at customers in the picture business. You just make your product and send it out. Oh, you do, huh? To who? To the distributors. Distributors? And what are they? Why, they're the picture houses through the country, Pa. They are? And don't I even get to talk to them? Why should you? Why should... But... Look, Sidney. Please. I want you to be very quiet for a long time. So I can hold my head in my hands and think what a shlamil I am. That I should buy a business like this. 
Maybe, maybe. Why did I do no, it? Never mind, Pa. Harold and I will take care of everything. Uh, yeah. Who? No, no, no. Ne never mind. It always cost me money. Now, Harold is coming here in a few minutes, and we're going to talk over a few things. Yeah. Then later on in the day, we're going to have a director's meeting and get things straightened out. <laughs> well, this whole thing happened so suddenly that nobody's had time to adjust themselves, that's all. Yeah, that's all. You're right, Sidney. You're right. You are talking about me, and this time you are right. right. Ooh, wait, there it goes again. Oh, here, let me get it. No, 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 no. no, no I'll no. take care of it. You, uh, Yes? Right. Who? Mr. Elman. No, Mr. Bloom can't see Mr. Elman or anyone else for a long time. He's in conference. And don't let anyone in but Mr. Fink. He'll be along in a few minutes. Thanks. There you are, Pa. There I am, Pa. There I am, huh? I am in conference, eh? So I can't see anybody, huh? So I'm going crazy, huh? Sidney, you dope. that might be our customer. <laughs> oh, I'm not coming in to see you this time of the day, Pa. It's too early. Sidney, it is never too early to see a customer. You should know that. Now, we're going to be busy, Pa. We got a lot of things to do this morning. Oh, I'm very glad you told me, Sidney. <laughs> I'm very glad you told me we're going to be busy. Oh, how should I know that I'm even in business? Huh? Oh, good morning, everyone. Yeah, good morning. Harold, what kind of an outfit is that? Oh, are these clothes? Well, well, they're Hollywood, Pa. Sport shirt, slacks, sport coat. How did I get Ah, swell, Harold. Hell, tell me something. Are you going to be in a picture you should wear an outfit like that? <laughs> no, just being comfortable. Well, Sid, let's get down to work. How about it? You bet. Well, did you see Norman? Norman? Oh, oh, the producer. Yeah, I saw him. They're halfway through with Hearts of the West. They'll be through shooting in a couple of days. Uh-huh. Uh, anything else lined up? Yeah, a couple of good stories. I just came from the story department. Thought I'd look it over. Now, uh, uh, wait a minute. Not so fast. What is the story department? That's where they write the stories, Pa. Oh, oh. And, and why do they write stories? Why? For the pictures, of course. <laughs> Pa doesn't know much about it. Oh, not as much as he did about the knee pants business. Oh, but he'll catch on. Stop talking about me like I ain't in the room. I want to know what is going on behind my back. Nothing, Pa. That's why we're going to have this meeting. Harold and I haven't been letting grass grow under our feet. Yeah, grass, feet, stories. Listen, I want to know what business I am in. Now, look, Pa. Why don't you leave things up to Sid and me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm set... Oh, that buzzer schmuzzer in two minutes. I'm going to throw the whole thing out of the window. I'll answer it, Pa. Yeah, you... Uh, uh. Hello. Who? No, we don't want to see Mr. Katz. Tell him to come back at 2 o'clock when we're having the director's meeting. Yeah. And don't let anyone in here. Sidney, please. Maybe I should know some of those people who are trying to see me. Now, you'll meet them all this afternoon at the meeting, Pa. Right now, Harold and I got to straighten you out on a few things. Oh, by the way, Harold, did you see the rushes on that finished picture? Make-believe hearts? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's colossal. It's swell. Ah, they said the story was terrific. It shouldn't lay any eggs. The distributors are crying for more of Ken Belmont's pictures. He lays them in the aisles. <laughs> in the aisles. They don't even talk English. Huh? Just keep on pretending I'm not in here. Once in a while, you will hear a little sound that might be me dying. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, where do we start? Yeah. Well, um, first thing, Pa... We are what is known as a quickie company. Yeah, an indie. That's nice. That's nice. I'm learning very fast. Sure, it doesn't take long to catch on. No, no, it doesn't take long. <laughs> Not at all. Only first I got to learn what you're talking about. What is a quickie? And what is uh, the, 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 what Harold said? You shouldn't stand there and call our business names what the owner don't know. Well, a quickie company is a moving picture outfit that turns out pictures fast. Now, where a major studio would take a couple of months, we only take a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. That's a quickie. Yeah. And we're independent. That's what indie means. We yeah. have no other tie-ups. We're on our own. Yeah. Uh, me. I'm not at home. I could put a sign on the door of a telephone girl wouldn't have to wear out that buzzer. Look out, Paul. Let me get the phone. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Take the phone. Take the whole office. Go ahead. Hello. Now, wait a minute. I told you before that Mr. Bloom doesn't want to be bothered. We're very busy. No. No, he doesn't want to see anyone. That's right. Thank you. And who is that? The president, maybe? And I don't want to see him. <laughs> You're an executive now, Pa. You can't see every Tom, Dick, and Harry who decide he'd like to see you. <laughs> and maybe I'd like to see the Toms and the Dicks and the Harrys. Maybe I should change my name to a number so that you could make me more like I'm in a prison, huh? And people got to get special primers to see me, huh? And maybe Mama could get to bring me a sandwich once in a while, huh? No, don't take it that way, Pa. We're going to do business the way they do it out here. Yeah, yeah we're going to do business. Monkey business, funny business. I'm here all morning and not one customer do I see. Maybe the office out there is full of them. 
but they got to wait to see me just like I was important. How do you like that, Harold? How do I like that? <laughs> he says maybe he's important. Why, Pi, you're an executive now. You're a... Yeah, yeah, but maybe those people who keep calling me don't know it. Maybe they think I'm just plain Jake Bloom like I've been for a long, long time. Maybe they don't know that I got son-in-laws who keep me caged up like I'm an animal, huh? Go on, go on, go ahead, Sidney. Go on, answer the telephone. Go ahead. I'll wait on the windowsill until you get through. I thought Maybe I told I'll that girl off. we didn't want to be bothered. Hello. Now, look, we don't want to be bothered. I... Who? Well, what's her name? She won't say, huh? Well, tell her to come back later. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sidney, darling, I don't like to be personal, but could I ask who that was? Yeah, Pa, that's just an example. A woman out there won't give her name. She says she knows you. Sure, sure. It just goes to show what some of them will do to get in the movie studio. Sure, sure. But maybe she does know me. Why, Pa, that's silly. Who do you know here in Hollywood besides your own family? Ah, uh, maybe you think nobody wants to know me. Maybe you think I'm going around not meeting people. So I get to be a hermit because I got a fancy office and policemen for son-in-laws, huh? Pa, people go to any lengths just to get into the studios. I'm telling you... Yeah, well, maybe this time you better talk to the girl in Yiddish, Sydney. Maybe she don't know English, huh? Now, look, Miss Regan, I thought... What? She won't go away. All right, tell her that it's no use. She can't see Mr. Bloom today. Mr. Bloom is very busy, and if she won't give her name, that's all the more reason why she should stay out. Now, tell her that. I don't know what you'll do without us, Pa. I do, Sidney. I do. I know what I do. I would laugh. I would talk. I would answer the telephone like other people do. I would be a human being again. But you can't. You don't know Hollywood. Yeah, but I know you. So I know the whole world, and I want to talk to anybody else. But, Pa, we're doing it for your own good. You told me I... You should be telling me that I can't see my own husband because I don't tell you my name. My Ma. My <laughs> baby. Jake. Why do you have to know my name so I could come in to see you? Well, Mama, I... Don't answer, Jake. You will just get all revolved. Sydney. Harold, you should know the name of the mother of the girls you married, huh? But, but gee, Ma, we didn't know it was you out there. Oh, you didn't know it was me, huh? One little peek you could give out the door and you would see me. But no, I gotta sit out there because I'm thinking it's very foolish to tell somebody my name when my husband knows it already. <gasps> Jake, are you sick, huh? Don't you know my name? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rebecca Bloom, no? Uh -huh. Rebecca Bloom. Then why do you got to know it all over again? Just because you got a stenographist? And don't you on that pencil. Food is not good to eat. Now, wait, Ma. Cool off. Cool, cool off, huh? Cool off. Oh, I am hot only under the cellar. Call her, Ma. Harold, I am very mad. Jake, I want you should be giving me a reason. Well, Ma, I... Let me be quiet. All right, Jake. Why am I sitting out there? Now, Ma, my Sydney, Harold... What's the matter, Pa? Nothing. Nothing. I just want to know the quickest way to the ocean. Mm. 